Welcome to Attributes. Attributes is a way to add advanced features to your Webflow website without code. Instead of using code, we use attributes. My name is Joe Krug, CEO and founder of FinSuite. And we at FinSuite have created attributes for you, the Webflow community. This video will walk you through the absolute basics of attributes, the core principles of attributes. We will review the documentation, we'll look at a live example, and help you get started with your first attributes implementation. This is a great introduction video to those who are brand new to the system. Let's start by looking at this screen record. We copy the script for the solution we want to use, then paste it to the head of the page. Then we apply attributes to elements on the page. And here we're applying an attribute to the text element that will display the number of items in the list. This right here is the entire process to set up our count list items solution in attributes. For any attribute solution, we do this. We add a script file, then we place attributes on elements to add the functionality. We have two different types of attributes and understanding the difference between these two will really help you understand the system. We have attributes for page elements and we have attributes for options. We apply element attributes when we want to define an element on the page. For example, in our CMS filter functionality, we add a list element attribute to the collection list that we want to filter. It defines what element this is it's the list. We apply a filters element attribute to the form that has our filter UI elements. It's the filters. And then we can apply a reset element attribute to any element to make it a reset all filters button. All of these are elements that we're defining on the page. We're telling attributes which elements on the page to target, which elements are going to carry out this functionality. And look how organized this list is. Everything in CMS filter has the functionality key CMS filter. Every one of these is marked as an element. And there's a clear identifier to understand which element it is. In previous FinSuite solutions, we used classes for this. We assigned a class to an element and then we use that class in the JavaScript. Attributes does not rely on classes. Classes and IDs are not used as identifiers anymore. Instead, we use element attributes, and that is a core principle of attributes. Now, let's look at option attributes. Here we see CMS filter, type, easing, and duration. Everything has that same CMS filter functionality key, and the option tells us which option we're controlling. The value is the option that we want. So look at this, we have CMS filter type equals date. It's telling attributes that this is a date field. This is an option to accept date formats in the filter. Easing and duration, these are options that we all know and love on the web. Customize these easing options and the amount of time that the transition takes. These are options of the CMS filter functionality. We aren't tagging elements here, we are setting options. And that is, a, again, a core part of attributes. Make sure you understand that. Elements, attributes. Options, attributes. The best way to understand attributes is by actually doing it. So instead of talking about it, let's go in designer and actually build something. We're going to build a collection list that has load more functionality. Then we're going to add infinite scroll. Then we're going to switch it to pagination. And we're going to go step by step into a real workflow and see how we use attributes documentation with our live project to create the final result. We have a collection list here on the page in Designer. This is a Webflow collection list. 20 auto-generated items from the CMS. Absolutely nothing custom here. No classes, just the list with the content in it. We haven't done too much just yet. Here I have connected each of these fields to a Webflow CMS field just so we can see some content. 
And as of right now, we really have a normal setup, nothing custom here in Designer. This is a collection list with content. Now we're going to enable Webflow pagination in the settings panel of this list. With our load more functionality, we need pagination enabled. Before we start adding attributes to this, let's confirm the default functionality first. Let's go to this live page and we'll watch as the page reloads and shows the next three items in the list. The paginated content is showing on a new page, not the same page I was on. Perfect, this is exactly the Webflow default. This is what we want. Okay, so now we're going to get into the custom stuff. Let's go and add a single attribute to this Webflow pagination and turn it into a load more. Let's go and first look at the load more docs and take this step by step. This is the first thing I would do as a user. First, I need to copy paste the script onto my Webflow site. So each attribute has its own script file. This is for improved performance, uh, for better load time, to make this system truly modular. And this script is specific to the load more functionality. Each solution has its own script. So we're going to copy it here, and then we're going to paste it in the head of the page. Now, back to the docs, we have step two. Okay, we're going to add attributes to elements on the page. Here in the docs, purple indicates element attributes, orange indicates option attributes. We always want to start with the element attributes because options are added on top of elements. So we start with elements. I want this collection list to be the list with the load more functionality. This is exactly what we want for our collection list. So let's go open this up. We will apply this attribute name and value to the collection list element. There we go. Each element attribute has a screenshot to make implementation more clear. So look at this. It's telling us exactly what to do here. We're going to select this collection list. We're going to add this attribute to it. We can copy the name of the attribute right here, and now the name is copy to my clipboard. So let's go back to designer. Let's go and add it as an attribute to our collection list element. And we will also add the value list just like the docs show. All right, let's go publish and we'll see this working. Yeah, this is all we have to do to create load more functionality in our Webflow project. Copy the script, copy this attribute, and okay, let's see it work. There we go. Watch as more items are loading on the same page, right under the existing ones. Perfect. Now let's go and add some more attributes to make it spicy. We're going to add option attributes to change the options of our load more instance and they're going to be added to the same element that gets our element attributes. Let's go back into the docs, make this super clear for us. We want infinite scroll. Okay, I want, load, I want to load items with infinite scroll, perfect. Okay, this is what we want. When we open this up, we see the attribute that we need to add and the note telling us which element to add it to. This should be added to the list element, perfect. I'll copy it and let's go back into designer and we will paste it in here. FS CMS load mode. I'm now going to add our infinite and there we go. It's the same element with our list attribute. Perfect. Now let's go and publish. We have our list load more. We have our infinite option. When we publish and load, this will now see items loading with infinite. Okay, it looks great, there we go. As I'm scrolling down this page, more and more items are loading on the page. This is exactly what we wanted. Now let's go add a preloader. We're loading more things on the list, uh, but maybe the user has a slow connection, or maybe we want a visual to show that there's more items loading. Great, so we'll add a preloader to help users understand that there's more items loading. Let's go back to the docs and see how this works. Okay, here we are. I want this GIF, HTML at embed, or Lottie animation to show loading progress of the list. This is it, perfect. All right, and notice how this is an element. 
we are tagging an element as our loader. We can see here FS CMS load element loader. We're going to add it in designer. Okay, let's go add this element in designer. This is a GIF. I got this from icon8.com. You can use GIF, Lottie, it's super flexible here. I'll center it on the screen, put some autos in here, some display, there we go, we're centered. And now let's add the attribute to this loader. I'll select it and I'll go FS CMS load element and loader. We're telling attributes that this is the element that should show more items, that should show when there are more items on the page. That's it, more items loading, this loader will show. So let's go publish and see this working. Okay, nice, look at this. We have our loading spinner showing only when new content is being loaded on the page. If I wanted to, I could absolutely hide this pagination button, doesn't matter for this walkthrough, but you can hide that pagination button, no problem. All right, now let's go and change it. Our client changed their mind one hour before launch. We don't want infinite anymore. We want pagination, OMG. Not a problem with attributes. We are just going to change the value of the option. I'll go back to the docs and see what we need to do for this. Okay, and here we see the option. I want to load items on the same page using Webflow pagination next and previous buttons. This is it, perfect. All right, and we see our load mode pagination. Okay, I'll go do that. We're going to change the mode option from infinite to pagination, and we're doing that right inside designer here. So we're just going to make this change. I'm going to remove infinite, and I'm going to write in pagination. Awesome. I'll also remove this loader element. Now that we have the pagination, it doesn't really make sense to have a loading state anymore. So I'm just going to remove this from the page. We don't need it. All right, let's publish and see this working. Okay, I'm going to reload, and our list is transformed to a paginated list. With this small, quick change, we now have a big result, totally different outcome. That's the concept. That's the introduction video to attributes. We add attributes to elements. We have options on, side of, on top of those, and we can change those very quickly. In a very short period of time, we had load more underneath, then we had infinite scroll, then we added a loader, then we added pagination, and we didn't even look at one line of code. Our other solutions follow the same exact logic. Identify elements, give them the attributes, apply options. Try attributes for yourself, and after a few implementations, you'll feel like a pro. That's power, that's attributes.